Hi guys, this is Urshi Jain and I'm back with a video. As promised, this time the video is on hacks to clear your GDs. And I don't intend to, you know, cover very basic points which are anyways covered all over the internet and in your classes. These are hacks which I've learned over the year from my professors, from fellow students, which can really, really make, you know, the big difference that day for you. So, the very first hack is... What are the three kinds of topics which come and from where do you prepare for them? So the first topic which can come is fact based. Now that is obvious, you know, just read the newspapers and keep a track of what is happening in the world. The second kind of topic is the geopolitical social opinions topic. This editorials are going to help you. So just keep following a lot of editorials over a period of say two, three months at least. And don't just read editorials which are related to topic which topics which you like. Read sports editorials, technical editorials, um, scientific discovery editorials, anything and everything and it may help you that day. Third is the abstract topics. Now I have had a GD where they literally put a dot on a whiteboard and asked us to discuss that. How do you discuss abstract topics? One is the funnel approach. Now what is the funnel approach? So basically this is your funnel. Now what do you do is you bring up all your ideas and then you think what all more creative things can you think from this thing so for example when they put a dot on the blackboard um, the very first idea which came to my mind was a blotch on something which was so pure what came to someone else's idea was it was a red dot on a board so she said it's like the bindi on my mother's forehead you know and then there was the whole concept of the yin and yang that the board was yang and somebody added a touch of red and a touch of femininity to it so therefore it, therefore it was yin so all these were creative ideas in different directions and that's what you're going to write in your divergent part of the funnel then comes your convergent think of one thread you know which you feel you can discuss for at least a minute and then start noting points on that thread what all comes to your mind from that point of you know line of thought so for example when i said it's a blotch on the white very white board I could, you know, I started to talk about racism. I started to talk about how some men uh, spoil the reputation of the whole community or how uh, some leaders just derail the whole party agenda. So these were the line of thoughts which I could carry on from there. And then I was trying to bring it to a more realistic fact based kind of a discussion. Someone else might just take it to another plane and, you know, bring in quotes and um, bring in stories to sort of take the discussion forward. But just make sure that out of all your creative ideas, you come to some kind of convergent topic. Now from there, start refining it. You know, these are the points I made and therefore now I've begun to feel so. And as I heard from you and as I heard from you, these are also the things which come to my mind when I look at this whiteboard. And finally comes the conclusion. In some GDs, the panelist has a habit of going to each, you know, member at the end and asking them to conclude. That's when it's very important that you've heard others, you've heard yourself and you remember the points people have made and you're able to conclude these in, in a very beautiful string of thoughts. If it's an abstract thought, you know, topic, they are trying to judge your creativity as well. So be as creative as possible, but don't be illogical. You know, it's okay to be creative but it should all make sense it should all add up together what you said now the second hack that you could use is the chakraview bhedna method now i always use this it was my favorite uh, gd hack whenever i got a paper and a pen and the first 30 seconds to think about the topic i would write the topic on the top of the page and i would divide the page into four parts the first part would be all the ideas which came to my mind so you know uh, immediate ideas which have come to my mind the second part would be um, what are uh, any frameworks that I might be able to use for these topics so now it's okay if you pause the video and get a pen and paper so write down some of these frameworks and just google them to know more about them so first could be the SWOT framework that is the strength weakness opportunity threat framework the second framework that you could analyze the topic on is the PESEL framework that is the political, economic, social, technical and environmental impact of any um, topic. So these are the five planes on which you could analyze them. And the third is the Porter's five forces. These are some ideas you could use more. All right. So that I would try to do in the framework part of the Chakraview Bhedna. 
now the third part was what others have said so i would go to you know others opinion and i would just start writing down panelist 1 said this panelist 2 said this panelist 4 said this so that i have a track of what everybody is contributing to the gd and lastly the conclusion part in the end when i i would always keep a track of time as far as i could and i would just see that you know it's it's begun to come to an end so i would try and summarize it in a beautiful way for myself so that if i were to end the gd i have something ready with my thoughts and with the thoughts that others have contributed to the discussion now this is very important a leader just doesn't have ways to lead other people he also takes other people along so make sure you're a good listener and you're taking their opinions and using them in your conclusion now these were the two hacks as to how do you break down your chain of thoughts when you get the topic now the next point is do you start a gd or do you not the very first thing is if you know the topic well and if you and if you feel that if you start the gd you can speak on it for 30 seconds and contribute productively then it's okay to open don't just open for the sake of it you think through the points in your mind and it should make sense but if you just don't know anything about the topic that day then try and build on the topics which others have contributed to the gd and then slightly you know somewhere in between you be i agree with you and this is what i heard from you therefore this is the idea which has come to my mind from it this shows that it's not just that you're a follower you're just following and agreeing with them something else occurred to you which you're trying to contribute to the gd this could be your savior you know just the way you present that idea could be your savior this could be that moment when you find that you didn't know anything about the topic at all now let's move on to a very important point do you think it's important to remember what you said in your gd it's absolutely essential why quite often the panelists will be who will be judging you in your gd will be the same panelists who are sitting in your interview so for example you quoted a number in your gd and you randomly quoted it just to sound authentic if that panelist happens to open google you know and fact check and then you fail on it he's going to he's going to rip you apart in the interview so make sure whenever you state a fact you try and authenticate it so for example if i say that uh, india's population is so and so as per the 2018 so and so report you know now this is corroboration they know from where you've picked up the number and do not do not state fake facts at all it's a very big risk that you're taking it might sound fancy during the gd but if they happen to fact check you'll just lose all your marks now let's move on to the points of interpersonal skills so there are times two things happen one the gd goes into a fish market situation second there is some very aggressive woman who's being very loud and you're just not able to enter the gd now how do you manage these two situations guys this is an extremely important tip for you do not interrupt a woman it is really taken against you now i know it's a sad situation but that's how it is so what do you do in such a case there's a very simple trick which my male friend told me and he says it really works for him what he does is he starts agreeing with such women such women he'll be like yes i agree with you yes i agree with you yes i agree with you she's right now because she's being so loud she's trying to have people to agree with her you're already agreeing with her so it's she's bound to make an eye contact with you just when she begins to make eye contact with you smile at her you know not a sly smile just like a nice person's like like yeah yes i agree with you this is when she might also smile back at you and that's the moment of pause the second she pauses just jump in with your point be ready don't be too loud you know enter probably a little loud but then balance your voice maintain a calm demeanor finish your point and then you can be like yes i like i said you know she can carry on with the point and then you can retreat this way it's just going to show the panelists that it was a fish market situation people were not letting you speak and you somehow managed to jump in give your point and retreat back one very important point is always have a conclusion ready in a fish market situation sometimes your savior could be you know 2 3 minutes into the discussion you realize that it's going nowhere everybody is just jumping in trying to give some points that's when you can enter and you can be like so i've been writing down all the points which everybody said and let's just summarize as to what we've discussed so that we can better decide the direction of this discussion and quickly start summarizing the points and you know um address people 
सो यू सेट दिस सर यू सेट दिस दिस वॉज अ पॉइंट यू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड वैन पीपल हेयर देयर पॉइंट बींग कोटेड दे रिलैक्स फॉर अ मोमेंट एंड हेयर यू आउट सो दिस शोज यू बीन हेयरिंग एवरीबडी एंड यू आर ट्राइंग टू ब्रिंग एवरीबडी टू द टेबल नॉट लूजिंग साइड दैट इज नॉट अ डिबेट इट्स अ डिस्कशन इफ यू हैव सम पॉइंट ऑफ योर ओन एट दैट टू द कंक्लूजन एंड देन अगेन यू नो द डिबेट कैन गो ऑन सॉरी नॉट कंक्लूजन समरी एंड देन अगेन द डिबेट कैन गो ऑन इन अ नाइस डायरेक्शन सो दीज आर टू वेज यू कैन अवॉइड अ फिश मार्केट फॉर विमेन it's not important that you be loud and you go on rambling on a point it's very important that you're to the point and you have the courtesy to let the men speak too if you have point if you have five points state one or two of them wait again enter state one or two more of them it's not it's not a nice way to just enter and you know go on a monologue for one and a half minutes not let anybody speak because that doesn't get you selected and that doesn't let anybody else participate so quite often the whole panel gets scrapped because of such reasons now the very last hacks to share with you guys try and wear light pastel shades when you go for a gd why because if you're wearing something too bright it's just going to draw a lot of attraction to your clothes and it's just going to distract the panelists from the points that you made that day i know it's a very um you know your whatever you wear is up to you but still it's something which has been noticed you know over period of years and it's a very important advice that our time professors gave us try and wear something light monochromatic second thing never sit with your legs crossed that just shows that you're closed off to other people's opinion sit with your legs kept together not apart but not crossed either second thing is do not place your hands on the desk and you know just be very very eager to speak and be too loud sit with a calm demeanor sit straight keep your hands in front of you or probably like a pen and just you know be writing looking at that's it when it comes to eye contact follow the 80 20 rule so what you can do is 80% of the times you make eye contact with the speakers who are very aggressive or who are contributing a lot but 20% of the times you also have to give respect to the people who are not contributing so that means it's a very fine balance between whom to look at whom not to it's not at all necessary to look at the panelists they are like the fly on the wall let them do their business they will mark you when they have to don't look at them while making your points it's a discussion between you guys look at each other these were all my hacks for gds if you have any more important hacks which you feel can help your fellow aspirants please 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 leave them in the comments One more thing that I've started doing is I try and document snippets of my day in MBA on my Snap Story, which is you know Jane Oshi is the handle. So if you want to see what an MBA life is like, what I eat, when I wake up, how I go to the lectures, then you can follow me on Snapchat. There's also a Facebook page that I've started for discussions, and it goes by the name of the MBA Guinea Pig. I'm going to link it in the description. So please join the Facebook page and you guys can have a discussion together and I can pitch in wherever I feel that there's something I've learned from experience which can help you guys please leave a lot of comments it makes me so happy to see you guys you know benefiting from these videos or anything that you feel that I should make a video on and it will help you the next video is going to be on what's in my bag wati <laughs> it's going to be up on friday i hope you like it it's just a fun video that i'm doing and the video on next tuesday will be on how to handle your why mba question so if you feel that these two topics interest you please subscribe and you will know when the video is up please share these videos with anybody you feel is anxious during the stage of preparation and can benefit from my videos send a lot of love to me in the comments send a lot of love to the channel mm -hmm. bye